Many important people attended the funeral service at the Sioni Kami Memorial Church to pay their last respect to the late Kronox Manek. Among those present was the Prime Minister Peter O'Neill, the Chief Justice Sir Salamo Injia, Attorney General Kerengakua, members of Parliament, members of the Judiciary and Departmental Eds. In his eulogy read out by predecessor Phoebe Sangatari, all his life was spent protecting the rights of the seven million people of the country. That Mr. Manek was an inspiring leader, a man of integrity, who was dedicated and committed to his work. He fought tirelessly against crime and corruption and for the human rights of the ordinary people of Papua New Guinea. During his incomplete term as chief ombudsman, Mane created a good network with other anti-corruption organizations locally, in the region, and internationally. But also a loss to the international ombudsman community, the Pacific Ombudsman Network, and the International Association of Anti-Corruption Authorities. And the call to carry on the legacy of fighting against crime and corruption and protecting the rights of the people was made by the Attorney General. Mr. Kua knew the late Cronox for more than 30 years since his university days. And in the 25, 26 years that he had to serve as a lawyer, both from the public services office and as a public prosecutor's office, you cannot attribute one single scandal to his name in it, a form of a rumor or an allegation or a charge of whatsoever nature. In an environment where corruption has become the norm rather than the exception, it is exceptional in itself to find a man like that amongst us. Dying at the age of 48, many described the late chief ombudsman as an intelligent person and that it was a great loss for the country. Alice Thomas, National MTV News.